Hi guys, Pisces, last one up on deck. This is going to be a general message for the collective sign of Pisces for March 8th through March 10th. And this is Ancestral Owl Messages. Um, before we get into the details of the read, let's pray. Great Creator, Father God, Divine Mother, Mother Mary, Angels, Ancestors, and Spirit Guides. I just pray and ask for wisdom and clarity and pray messages need to come through for the collective sign of Pisces. For this, their general message for March 8th through March 10th. In Jesus' name, Amen. Okay, here we go. All right. I believe I finished the prayer. Yes, I did. Okay. All right. If you like my channel, absolutely like and subscribe. Hit the notification bell. It's absolutely free to do all of those things. Um, <laughs> I am using the Dragon Oracle card deck by Diana Cooper. The Dragon Tarot by Nigel Suckling. And let's get it. <laughs> all right here we go for the collective sign of pisces here we go magenta dragon enables you to bring forward your soul wisdom awaken your soul memories and higher spiritual understanding prepare for accelerated ascension okay Fire dragon burns up the lower energies around you. You are safe and protected. Be determined and inspired. Clear your soul pathway. Beautiful. Absolutely beautiful Pisces. Okay. Orange dragon brings soul families and communities together. Spread belonging, warmth, and oneness. Bring people everywhere together. Really research the color orange because this is like... All three cards have a shade of orange on them. Okay, one last card. <laughs> Water Dragon helps you flow easily around obstacles. Christ light and love are flowing. Develop your psychic abilities. Go with the flow. There's all also too with water. It's a cleansing energy. And it will cleanse away those negative energies that the fire dragon will um, really burn away. Um, it also cleanses our emotions. It's tied to our emotions. Uh, water is life. And this can be indicated by taking a bath. You really can bring um, new life into a situation by just relaxing and allowing yourself to be renewed and rejuvenated by the water. Cleanse those emotions away. Um, confusing emotions, negative emotions. Okay, one more shuffle. All right, here we go. Two of Wands, connection. Four of Pentacles, but holding back. Queen of Cups. There you are, Pisces. Seven of Pentacles. This is planting new seeds. And temperance energy. There's Sagittarius card. Patience with endurance. Six of Cups. Present moment. Page of Cups. Love message. Nine of Swords. This is deep grief. Sleepless nights. Ten of Cups. Emotionally happy. Fulfilled. And strength card impartation of strength when you run out of your own okay the two the each card that's number two two is connection two of swords is connecting with yourself and your future to determine which word you're going on two of cups is a deep emotional level connection with someone two of pentacles is connecting with your resources could be juggling jobs could be um this could be connecting two sides or, or connecting two different people, um, relationship and really juggling the two different belief systems and um, two different individual lives into like this one solid stream. And the two of wands is a deep connection in conversation. Wands are words. Wands are words. Swords are thoughts and actions. Cups are emotions. Pentacles are resources, but not just finances. It's mental, emotional, spiritual resources as well. This is connecting with someone on a deeper level 
in conversation. I feel like text messages. Then you got Four of Pentacles, but still holding back. Still withholding something from them. Not telling them everything. Then you have... Here is your energy, Pisces. Standing in your energy. Um, connected to your emotions. Acting out of your emotions. This is making decisions based on your emotions. Then you have Seven of Pentacles. Planting new seeds. And the Temperance card. The Sagittarian energy. Patience with endurance. And this is patience with endurance with surrounding those seeds that you have planted seeds for the future then we have six of cups this is walk stepping out of the past of the five of cups energy into the now and this is being grounded into how do you feel now like the present moment who who do you have those emotions for now see when you have and if you see the other, some of the other reads, there's sometimes where the confrontation comes up, confrontational card, one of the fives show up, five of swords, five of wands, you got five of cups, which is a nostalgia card, which is talking about, oh, but we have history together. This is stepping out of that and stepping into the, but do we have a now together? Like we may have had a history together, doesn't mean we got a now together. There's a difference of that energy. This is that energy. Then you got Page of Cups, which is that um, love message coming in. Small love message. This could be like, hey, how are you? I haven't thought about you in a while. Or um, just wanted to say I'm thinking about you. That type of thing. And then you got Nine of Swords. This is sleepless nights in your head. This is obsession, but it's also a grief card. Three of Swords is heartbreak, disappointment. Nine of Swords is three times that. The nines are completion biblically. That's what the nines mean. Nine of Swords is that it's basically completing the cycle from, because you go Three of Swords, which is heartbreak and disappointment. Four of Swords, which is that healing, taking time out to heal and rest. Five of Swords, confrontational. Six of Swords, walking away. Seven of Swords, that really thieving, that thievery card, eight of swords, the mental cage, you get to nine of swords. This is almost like running the marathon of everything that could possibly go wrong. Like every obstacle and everything thrown at you. And then you get to the nine of swords, like all you want to do is cry. That type of energy. Then you get to, and see, this is interesting because you get nine of swords. Then you got one step up. Actually, two. And I'll show you the numbers. 9, 10, 11. So you got 9 of Swords, which is that deep grief, um, sleepless nights, obsessive thinking. And then you got 10 of Cups, emotionally fulfilled, everything stable, um, happy, healthy, emotionally um, fulfilling. Like you have all your cups filled and running over. Then you have Strength Card. 9, 10, 11. Strength card is running out of your own strength. Doing it within yourself. Running out of your own strength and receiving an impartation from the divine. To continue onward. This 9 of Swords 2 could just be exhaustion. Because there is... It's almost like a lot has happened. And you have a lot of messages coming towards you. Like you have a lot of information coming towards you and you're not telling everything. And you're working behind the scenes to plant new seeds. You're patiently waiting on those seeds to develop. And this, I feel like, is from exhaustion. It's just emotional exhaustion. Mommy. This is having a lot going on at the same Mommy. time. My 12-year-old is being impatient today. Like I was saying. I just feel like the Nine of Swords is exhaustion because there's things going on behind the scenes, um, things you haven't talked about, and this could even allude to the need for this water therapy, getting a Epsom salt bath. This could be taking, you know, just taking a moment to allow those emotions to wash over you. 
really research the color orange because orange could be beneficial to you the spiritual significance of the color orange um but yeah you're not saying everything that you're doing behind the scenes so i mean this could just be indicative of needing to rest sleepless nights obsessing about something um you could even be obsessing about the seeds that you're have planted and really working in that patience temperance is patience with endurance this is endure the storms be patient while the seeds grow okay so for the collective sign of pisces this is your general message for march 8th through march 10th love and light